The sun loves the moon so much, he dies every night to let her breathe, and in return she reflects his love. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth at the beginning of a new week a new month, new beginnings, onwards, upwards, to the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another spectacular day here brilliant sunshine with clear blue skies reminding us of the protection of our Divine Mother and we have plenty of fluffy white clouds passing slowly by and reminding us of our impermanence that we are just travellers here on earth and this too will pass and we have all of the gorgeous gifts of creation we have butterflies of all colors flitting around from flower to flower reminding us also of our transformation and we have birds serenading us in a divine symphony and creation is so alive embracing us in all of her glory so 
we are grateful for another day on earth to learn these challenging lessons that we have come here to learn in these physical bodies. And as we settle deeper and deeper into the work, wherever you are, if you're on a crystal bed, relax, if you would prefer to sit upright with our heads elevated just a little, so this energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily through each and every one of us, like a river, a current of love and light. And if you'd like to put a glass of water beside you, this would be blessed in the course of the work and we drink it at the end to nourish us mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, leaving the material world behind, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances. All there is. We are reminded again and again that we're not the body, we're so much more. We move in and out of perishable bodies. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help on our journeys available to us from beyond the veil. We just need to reach out and ask for it. And today we're going to go on a little cosmic journey in gratitude for these gifts of creation that we have been given and we are going to honour the moon as it is full now and we take so much for granted we every moon is a super moon in my books um, but we really uh, look up into the sky and are inspired by all of creation and the sky unites us and our moon and our sun emanate frequencies and these energy waves influence Earth's tides and the water within our bodies arousing our emotions behaviors and our consciousness we are over 80 percent water so we are resonating with all of creation and of course our brother saint francis of assisi over 600 years ago made this connection with everything having a vibration and we are all brothers and sisters in creation and famously he praised God by saying all praise be yours my Lord brother son who brings the day and all praise be yours my Lord to sister moon and the stars in the heavens you have made them bright and precious and fair and the sun and the moon we cannot live without by day the sun reflects our outer worlds our identity our personality our egos it resembles how we shine our light out into the world the present moment our yang or masculine expression the sun offers us strength courage and illuminated insight of the soul the moon shows our inner world our hidden emotions desires our shadow self our fears worries and our dreams it represents our feelings our unconscious beliefs, the past, our yin, our feminine expression. The moon offers us the ability to feel, learn from the past and creatively unlock and express our essence. So we are embracing these beautiful elements now today and the moon is a feminine symbol 
universally representing the rhythm of time as it embodies cycles. And the phases of the moon symbolize immortality and eternity, enlightenment, or the dark side of nature herself. The moon may reflect inner knowledge or the phases of humanity's condition on earth since it controls the tides, the rains, the waters and the seasons. It is the middle ground between the light of the sun and the darkness of night and this often relates between the conscious and the unconscious. The moon is really a symbol of our souls. And just like the moon, we go through phases. It's an allergy for human development. The new moon is infancy. The crescent is youth and adolescence. The full moon is maturity and the waning moon represents the decline of life and the sleep state. So we are really resonating now with this beautiful high vibration on this full moon. And of course, it's a great time to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us as we honour all of these gifts of creation that we have been given by God to help us all on our journeys. So let us pray. Lord of the sun, Father of flowers, field and fruit, smile on us in these earnest days when the work is heavy and the toll wearisome lift up our hearts O oh god help us to recognize all of the worthwhile things in our lives sunshine and the night the dripping rain the song of the birds books and music and the voices of our friends. Lift up our hearts to day and night and grant us thy peace. Amen. And to our Divine Mother, let us pray with open hearts. A light shines bright above me and within me. I pray the Mother Moon graces me with a renewed spirit, bringing calming energies to my heart and mind. I heal under her glow as I unite her fullness of energy and light deep into my soul. May I shine ever so bright. Blessed be. Amen.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
is unfolding exactly as it needs to. As we become aware of the ebbing and flowing of our breath, this full moon is a time to let go of the old and embrace the new. Let us breathe in the future and breathe out the past. Slow, gentle, deep, deep breaths into the heart center, the center of our being. As we are in gratitude to God Almighty for this gift of life we have been given. Breathing in more and more and more divine love light from the everlasting source of all light. Permitting this magnificent love light to penetrate our very being here now in this moment, mind, body, spirit, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and much, much more to do this divine work on Mother Earth in these difficult days. Becoming this gorgeous love light Remembering this high vibration as the light beings that we truly are, resonating with all of creation, ebbing, flowing, fluidly, freely, joyfully in this ocean of love and light. And with each precious breath pouring forth from our open hearts, filling the entire planet with the highly vibrational, strong, sure, pure, crystal clear, divine love light. Showering a gift of purification, illumination and transformation upon all of our brothers and sisters, carnate and disincarnate, in and around Mother Earth in this beautiful moment. And as we surrender more and more, Letting go of all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our grudges, our resentments. We need to recognize that we will outgrow people. We will become too bright for our families and our friends, some of them. And it's all okay. We need to stop apologizing, stop feeling guilty and stop contracting. Do not stand still for someone else's comfort. Never stop becoming more. Do not forsake your soul for the ways in which the people around us choose not to show up for themselves. Do not postpone your destiny. Each 
new luminous. You will attract more and more luminous connections. Allow yourself this gift to expand and expand and expand more and more and to greet each new blessing when it arrives. You are worthy of your highest expression and you greatly disservice your soul by not becoming all that you can be. Rise and shine. You are luminous.
spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. And we are much, much more than we think. Our bodies are housing our eternal spirits and there is a bigger picture. We lose sight of this sometimes when we're stuck in the drama of our daily lives, particularly now with so much going on on the planet. Everybody has a little bit of the sun and the moon in them. Everybody has a little bit of man, woman and animal in them. Darks and lights in them. Everyone is part of a connected cosmic system. Part earth and sea, wind and fire, with some salt and dust swimming in them. We have a universe within ourselves that mimics the universe outside. None of us are just black or white, or never wrong and always right. No one, no one exists without polarities. Everybody has good and bad forces working within them, against them, and within them. We're only human after all. And we're just required to do the best we can here on Earth. Do not give yourself a hard time. We are walking the path as best we can. And there's a lot that we can do to empower ourselves. You're already doing it by dedicating yourself to this work of the light every day. We need to remember that it's all about vibration. Be it high or low or something in between. And we are vibration. And we are reacting and acting with the cosmic energy. The universe is not punishing you. It is not blessing you. It is not controlling you. The universe responds to the vibration that you are creating. Think happy thoughts and happiness will come to you. Think negatively and negativity will come to you. What we put out into the universe, we will get back like an echo. Life is an echo. What you send out comes back. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. What you see in others exists in you. Remember, life is an echo. It always gets back to you. What you think about persistently will persist to exist in your life. And in each and every moment, we have a choice. Choose love. Love, loving, love.
we resonate in this sacred moment with our brother, sun, sister, moon. The sky unites us. Let us be open to receive a deep, deep, deep cleansing from on high into our open hearts. This is a unique opportunity to let go of all denser energies that no longer serve us. From this lifetime and indeed past lifetimes, known or unknown to us, as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our rage, our hurt, our grudges, our anger, our resentments, anything that's not from the light, handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant flowers being kissed by bumblebees and hummingbirds. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. And today bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything that's stopping us, holding us back from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. There's never been a better time to do this work. This is the reason why we're back here on Earth. And let's bring any of our brothers and sisters who are particularly struggling in these darker days on earth, who are suicidal, depressed, feeling desolate, abandoned, isolated, the children of the world who are suffering, our brothers and sisters who are homeless, Anyone who is lucky enough to have a home and is trying to make their way back home to their families. And of course our brothers and sisters in the travel industry who are facilitating this work of God. It's a very stressful time to be on the planet. So let's really help each other. We're just walking each other home and be gentle. We're all children of God. And let's bring medium Chuao into this high vibration. And anyone who has suffered or who is suffering on account of the problems at the Casa. And our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this magnificent high vibration to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, let's share our bounty with the world. Allowing it to gush forth into all hospitals. Helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these challenging days 
on the planet. Pouring into all hospices, nursing homes, helping our elders, asylums, prisons, orphanages, migrant camps, helping to liberate our brothers and sisters. We're all the same, equal, no difference. Anywhere and everywhere on Mother Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry, allowing this God light to pour forth now into all war zones, anywhere there's disharmony, riots, fighting, conflict, bringing peace in our lifetime. Saint Rita's with us. To God, all things are possible. This high vibration now, penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, having them to wake up to our divine essence. To put people before profit. This gorgeous, pristine, crystal clear energy now, pouring into our ecosystems, regenerating, renewing, recalibrating, nourishing, already. Mother Earth is bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God, God is great. Miracles abound. In this sacred moment now, this cosmic energy enveloping Gaia, growing, multiplying, expanding, cleansing and healing all beings, carnate and disincarnate, as it pours forth into infinity. May all beings with and without bodies, all creatures great and small, be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
this sacred moment now, basking in this magnificent cosmic energy. Thank you, God Almighty, for another opportunity for us brothers and sisters to come together as one family. Collective consciousness resonating with all of creation. Walking the path of the light together. For this gift of life we have been given to learn these new lessons that are very challenging right now, reminding us we are not alone. And through the power of creation, learning that there are three things that cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon and the truth. And thank you for helping us to realize that we're all interconnected in creation. Brother, son, sister, Moon, Ying Yang, merging as one, out of separation into oneness. And thank you, God Almighty, for sending us these magnificent messengers ascended masters elevated beings of light and love angels archangels guardian angels bringing heaven to earth and these magnificent entities of light and love. Dom Ignacio, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rita, St. Francis of Assisi reminding us that everything has vibration and everything is our brothers and sisters. All of them together working with us pilgrims of the paths, multiplying the God consciousness on earth. And to our beautiful brother, Jesus, thank you. Prince of Peace and our Divine Mother, Queen of Peace. Their sacred hearts beaming out their love light all the time to us here on earth in this Valley of Tears comforting us and letting us know that when our earthly life is over, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields. How great is that? And thank you, my beautiful, courageous, brave brothers and sisters, for your willingness to come together as one family to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Your faith is healing you and all of your family and friends and Mother Earth. And your love and your light are changing the world forever for the better. You're making a huge difference. Stay elevated. Thank you.
Let us pray with open hearts to release anything and everything that no longer serves us in this very, very special time of the full moon. Dear God, I am ready to heal. I am ready to let go. Please take my willingness, whether weak or strong, and use it to transform my life. Enter into every cell of my being. Cut out all of my dysfunction and dis-ease. Remove all compulsion and illuminate my heart. I give you my darkness. Please fill me with your light. Take away what is wrong within me and leave only what is right. May I know at last who I truly am. Namas.